Apostle Deanna Dixon, I pray that you are having a blessed day. Come on, somebody, give him honor, give him praise. He is the Lord of all lords. He is the King of kings. Come on, somebody, is there anything too hard for God? If you see my title, God told me, he said, um, first of all, this has been going on for maybe a month now. And I've been saying it in certain videos, but I wanted to do a video just pertaining to this. We have to start being about our father's business again. You know, the early church did that. Somehow we veered. And let's be real. We veered. I'm going to say it again. We veered. Thus said the Lord. So the word of the Lord said this morning is, too many people are dying in this last hour without being saved. Even in the church. Without being saved by Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what thus said the Lord. So let me go ahead and give you my foundational scriptures. Praise God, praise God. All right, I'm going to start with Psalm 119, 176. It says, I've gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Come on, somebody. 1 Peter 2, 25. For you were continually straying like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. It's about souls. I don't, God don't care what you drive. God don't care how much money. We be thinking God care about all this big stuff. God main main purpose is souls how many souls let me continue john 10 1 through 27 truly truly i say to you he who does not enter by the door into the fold of the sheep but climbs up some other way he is a thief and a robber but he who enters by the door is a shepherd of the sheep to him the doorkeeper opens and the ship he the sheep hear his voice and he calls his own name and leads them out praise god and then matthew 18 12 what do you think if any man has come has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray does he not leave the 99 on the mountains and go search for the one that is strained all right also this is what he says luke 10 2 it says therefore said unto them the harvest truly is great but the laborers are few pray ye therefore the lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into the harvest okay and one more scripture luke 10 19 behold i give you power come on somebody to tread over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing should by any means hurt you and that was the word of god praise god praise god hallelujah let me tell you something right now god says that we as the body of christ he said we're running after everything but souls in this hour let me tell you something how many people you know for just in your family and let's be real that are not saved co-workers friends god says that this present day church uh, is not the church i'm telling you what god says god says we're running after money honey and funny and, if, and when people when i say that people act like they don't know what i mean everybody running after money everybody want to beg is the world that came into the church and have tainted the church until the church started to look like the world. Meaning that now we're going after the things of the world instead of going after the things of God. Come on somebody, hallelujah. You have to start witnessing like never before God says. Start passing out tracts. I'm telling you what God said. God said too many people dying in the streets. Too many people dying in the church. Too many people dying in the hospitals. Too many people dying in the nursing homes. You have not begun your first work. Hallelujah. Your first order of business is soul, said God. God is not asking you to build more churches. The devil is a lie. He's not asking you to go all over the world and so say preaching if you're not saving souls. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He is not telling you to do be everything grand and yet you can't witness. Come on, somebody, even to your family members. I know they don't like you. I know they're going to judge you. I know they're going to say what they say. But if thus said the Lord, when you get to heaven, and we all will, judgment. Let me tell you what God will want to know. Did you do my will? Well, God, they didn't want to listen to me. They didn't believe me. It does not matter. It does not matter. It does not matter. I'm going to say it again. I don't care if they mock you. I don't care if they laugh at you. I don't care if they ostracize you. It does not matter, said the Lord. He said, speak in this hour. He said, preach in this hour. He said, preach in this hour. In this hour, you got to be about God's business. God says, too many people are dying without him. We got to go back to our first work. What is our first work? learning to go after souls asking people i'm talking about let me let me let me go ahead and tell y'all we have to be so in tune with god that if we in the grocery store if we out and about whatever we're doing and god said that person is not saved 
You have to get to the point where you got to go to that person. Too many people disliking people. Too many people. Let me tell you something. The enemy did a good job. Hold on. The enemy did a good job. Let me tell y'all something what the enemy did. The enemy came into the church and tried to tell us how to think. How to act. Ain't, ain't no tried. He did. How to think. How to act. Oh, y'all doing too much. It don't take all that. Yes, it does. Hallelujah. Yes, it does. You know for yourself. It takes a lot. It takes a lot to stay saved. Oh, come on, somebody. Don't play with me this morning. I know what I'm talking about. It takes a lot to stay safe because truth be told, people don't understand why people get attacked and they like to clown and laugh when men and women God fall. You want to know why they fell? Because they were so powerful that the enemy knows that guess what? There was a threat to the kingdom. That's why men and women of God go through spiritual warfare. You too, you that, that's not going through nothing. You ain't got no power. That's why you ain't going through nothing. Ain't no demon after you. Hallelujah. Because the demons already got you. Oh yes, 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 yes. I'm going to tell it this morning. Y'all laugh at men and women of God that got power talking about, ooh, they, 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 whatever. That's the same ones you're going to need in this hour, said the Lord. The devil don't mess with nothing that's not powerful. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So if you, if the devil ain't messing with you, and I know that's not grammarly correct, I don't care. If the devil ain't messing with you, you ain't got no power anyway. Come on, somebody, let's tell the truth up in here. The devil only messes with those that have authority, that walk in authority, that talk in authority, that move in authority. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And he'll send whomever. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. But in this last day, God say, we got to return back to our first, first love, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And whatever God is concerned with, we're supposed to be concerned with. Let me tell y'all something. And, and I want you to be honest with yourself. You want to know if you're being used by God? Are you on your agenda or God's agenda? Because here's the deal. I think uh, the church have taught it wrong. We've taught people, go find your purpose. Go find your purpose. Can I tell you something? That's not of God. Oh, I'm about to hit you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to school you this morning. This is the way you're supposed to do it. And I thought so too. You know, because you got to find your purpose. Find this. If your purpose is not God's purpose, then it ain't real. Because this is not about you. We were made to worship God in spirit and in truth. God never made you to worship yourself, your houses, your cars, your children, your marriage. Yeah, I said it how I said it. We were made to worship God in spirit and in truth. So what am I saying? This is how we're supposed to do it. God, what is your purpose for my life? What do you want me to do? You don't get to say what you want to do. You don't get to do what you want to do. Not if it's really a child of God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because that's the reason why people go astray. That's why people are unsaved, because they're doing their own thing. And what they don't understand is, because they're not doing God's thing, the devil have a right to backlash them. Oh, come on, somebody, let me walk this thing out. Let me walk this thing out. Your, your purpose must dwell with God. God's purpose. They must intertwine, said the Lord. You know why a lot of people are falling? Because you have your own agenda, God says. You're doing your own thing. And, and, and hold on. Anything that's birthed in the flesh is manipulated. So that means you got to make it happen. That means you got to make this happen, which is manipulation, which is sin, which is rebellion, which is witchcraft. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. We're supposed to, and, and trust me, I stumbled on that by mistake too. And y'all, y'all see me, those that have, I, I, I tried to make this happen and make this happen. And God said, Dan, what are you doing? He said, I, yes, I've called you. He said, but wait a minute. If you're not flowing in my purpose, then that means you're doing your own thing. And if you're doing your own thing, that means you're not doing my purpose. If you write down, take a list and write down what you want and what God, and, and God take a list and actually write down what he wants you to do is two different things. And I'm going to go very transparent this morning. There's no way, and I have to say it like this, because it's so it's so authentic and true. I had no, no reservations about coming back to Louisiana. I was going to bring my dad to Augusta, Georgia. I'm just going to be real with you. I said, as a matter of fact, I said, I'm never, I'm never going to live back in Louisiana. I'm, I'm very serious. I'm, I'm, I'm just being real. God told me, you don't get to say what you're not going to do, because I have an assignment for you. Hallelujah. And when, when you are really God's child, do you say, yes, God, come on, somebody. I'm reminded of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in, in the garden of Gethsemane. The Bible says, that's what they say, that he was actually sweating blood. Oh, come on, somebody. Because he knew his assignment was heavy. And, and he even asked, he said, God, if this cup could pass from me. 
He said, but nevertheless, thy will be done. What am I saying this morning? Whether you like it, whether it feels good, whether it benefits you, whether it doesn't, we are supposed to be in a position, nevertheless, God, I'll serve you. Nevertheless, God, I'll go. Nevertheless, God, I'll do your will and not my will. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So when you find yourself doing your will, then that means you are out of the will of God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And that's what's going on right now today. Everybody's trying to be blessed. Everybody's trying to look blessed, act blessed, pretend to be blessed. And I'm just going to say some, some of y'all just some fakers. Because let me tell you something, looking blessed and being blessed is two different things. And truth be told, if you really walk in this wall, it's topsy-turvy. You don't know what you're going to wake up to. Oh, come on, somebody. Because you don't know what God is going to allow. But God said, in this hour, your purpose must become my purpose. In this hour, your will must become my will. In this hour, you must start preaching and teaching and letting people know that I am real, that I healed you, that I delivered you, that I sanctified, that I set you free. He says, in this hour, too many people are dying. They're dying without Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The world has truly, let me tell you how the world came in. First through television. I'm going to walk this thing out. You want to know when the black community starts shooting up each other? When bars in the hood, minister society, don't play with me. I can name you. And I, I did research on it years ago. We mock what we see. We mock what we want to be. Come on, somebody. They'll make it look so good that you, you, you want to be that drug dealer. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm all in your neighborhood. You want to be that woman. You want to be that diva. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You want to be that. You got women of God. You don't even know what diva stands for. It's demonic. But, but, but you're a diva. Oh, oh, come on, somebody. You can get mad at me all you want. They've come into our home with that television and tell live vision. They give you a vision of what you should be what you should want, what you should think, and what you should do, which is a lie before God. Hallelujah. And that's why you have to get close to God so that you can decipher what's God and what's the enemy. Because God will never tell you to do something that's contrary to his word and to his commandments. The devil is a lie. God will never tell you to sin to win. The devil is a lie. Hallelujah to his name. So, so let me get back to the story. They, they brought the television in. Everybody wanted to be a star. I remember I wanted to too. When I, it was so crazy. Because let me tell you something. Words are powerful even as a child. I remember being right here in Abbeville, Louisiana. Saying one day I'm going to Hollywood. So when I got there. I was so disappointed. I'm just going to tell you. I was so disappointed. I, and, and I'm going to keep it authentic. Because I don't have time to play games. When I realized them people worship the devil. I was so. And when I realized that all that jury y'all see. Y'all know that's cubic zucconia right. But y'all be thinking it's real. Whatever whatever some of it be real but what happens is they actually borrow it from the real ones y'all ain't ready for me y'all ain't ready everything is just a, a fake lie it really is hollywood meaning that make believe but my thing is this we've been brainwashed we've been conditioned and so now this conditioning has seeped over to the church so now i, I, I gotta walk it out this morning you're not gonna like me we dress differently you got women of God showing more skin right now that you, you, you think you're a model. That is not of God. We're not supposed to be showing our skin, women, except to your husbands. But you want to look so good, and, and y'all be on Facebook, just uh, y'all get on my nerve. I'm sorry. I can't take it no more. It's not of God. And nobody want to say nothing because then if somebody say something, the first thing y'all say, ooh, they hating. Hating on what? You, you look weird. You looking like the world. So who, who hating on what? Oh, I'm about to walk this thing out. Walking like the world, talking like the world, looking like the world, acting like the world. That is not of God. And y'all wonder why our young girls are taking a downfall. Because they watch you, woman of God, so say. They watch you, man of God, so say. And then if you don't look like it and talk like it and act like it, why should they? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Uh, I'm going to walk this thing out. I'm going to walk this thing out. So let's get back to the story. So the body of Christ has been conditioned, God says, to do what is contrary to the word of God. We're not supposed to be dressing like that woman of God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Men of God, you're not supposed to be wearing them little tight shoots, suits, uh, shoots. Oh, it is a shooter. Huh? <laughs> you made me say the wrong word, but it's real. You're not supposed to be doing that. We Actually, I've been saying this for years, and I know y'all don't believe it. We're supposed to go back to the robes. God never, uh, under, um, God never, 
said that we were supposed to stop. That was an ordained movement way back in the early church. And let me tell you why we're supposed to wear robes. Because when you saw the robe and when they put on the robe, it was the robe of righteousness. Oh, God, let me break it down to you. The Spirit of God rested on those robes. So therefore, when you saw that man or that woman of God in the robe, you, you was like, that's a woman of God. That's a man. Whether it was, was or not, you respected the idea of the robe. That's why God assigned it. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So let's continue. So they didn't come and they conditioned the church. And so the church don't look like the church now. And God says, we have a problem. He says, mayday, mayday, we have a problem. We have a problem in the church. You wonder why the world acting a fool? Because the church acting a fool. Most people are after money, honey, and funny. Now, I explained the money. Let me explain the honey. You do anything for a man and a woman. Some of y'all so desperate, y'all be on Facebook just showing all your body. And that's secular and unsecular. That's saved and unsaved. Which, guess what? And then when they treat you like, oh, I'm about to go here. When they treat you like a hoe, then you get mad. But you, but, but you, but, but you don't want to put yourself out there. Oh, that's in the Bible, by the way. Whore. Yeah, that word is in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So when they treat you like what you dress, then you get offended. Come on, somebody. I'm going to walk this thing out. You're not going to like me this morning. You're not going to like me. We have to go back to the basics, God says. Go back to living righteously. Looking righteously. Living holy. Being holy. He says, be ye holy for I am holy, said the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what does said the Lord this morning. Y'all wonder why the world is a mess? He said, because my church has transgressed. That's what God says. So we got to go back. And, and look, I even throw myself in it too. We all got to repent. Father God, I repent in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, give me wisdom and discernment. Change me, God. I love that song by Tamla Man. Change me. I, 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 I'm telling you what God said. But I'm also change me, God. Change me, God. Change me, God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let's continue. How can people want to be saved when they look like a church that look like the world? When they look like a, a look at a pastor dancing to Megan the Stallion, oh, I'm going in. I don't care what y'all say. When they look at all that stuff, that don't want them to be saved. That, that tells them like, hey, if they could do it, I could do it. It must be okay. And the world is just positioning our children and our teenagers and our men and our women of God for disaster. Because let me tell you the word of the Lord again. God says this too. Anytime you touch the devil's tools, listen to me what I'm saying. That means sin of any kind. Anytime you touch his tools, he have a right to destroy you, said the Lord. That's why people die in sin. Because it's just like when we ask God to bring the anointing. God bring the anointing. God fill me. God keep me. God heal me. God deliver. He has a right to do it, right? Well, it's called the power of agreement. So whatever you agree with, God has to agree with. Y'all are ready for me. That's why some of you say, oh God, won't you take drugs from me? Alcohol. If you keep touching the devil's tool, he cannot agree with that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But he can agree with you being saved. He can agree with you coming out that thing. So people don't understand why your life goes this way and that way. What are you touching? Come on, somebody. God told me to ask you, what are you touching? Are you touching the unclean thing? Or are you touching the clean thing? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We got to be about souls. And the only way we can be about souls, that's why I went all the way around, come back, is if we're right ourselves. If you're not right, you can't save nobody else. You can't talk to nobody else. They're not going to listen to you. They're going to laugh at you. They're going to say, wait a minute. Sweep around your own front door before you come tell me something. So it goes back to, are you really saved? Or are you pretending? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You want to know who you are? Whatever you do when you're alone, is who you are, said the Lord. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Oh, I know it's heavy. I know it's tight, but it's right. We got to be about souls. And one thing about God, I'm going to say this, the heart of God is souls. Men and women of God, whatever it is, repent. Come back to God. Whatever you spend time with, that's who you become. If you spend time on television, looking at all that stuff, it's called guarding your gates. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You got to guard your gates. You got to guard what you see, what you hear. That's why That's why they started um, doing drive-bys. They started looking at, when they started, when they brought in the movies, and they knew exactly what they were doing. This was calculated and systematically, and yes, they used blacks to do it. 
you, you come on somebody y'all know what time it is don't play with me so it's the same thing as with all the sex and the music they know what they're doing to our teenage girls to our teenage guys I, I, I listen to some of that stuff yes I do as a sign I guard my ears because I want to hear what the enemy is doing I listen to that music just a little bit because I, I don't like it in my spirit kill 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 I'll pay a friend this is, this is the lyrics I'll pay um, one of your buddies to come kill you and y'all wonder why our kids are confused and crazy yeah I say that like I said it and disrespectful what they listening to what they hearing it's called mind binding spirits come on somebody that's why you have to it, it, they, they can't fight for themselves they cannot fight for themselves that's why we need a church that's praying again that's fasting again that's teaching the pure word of God that's reaching again I'm telling you what God say too many people dying without Christ and it's the church fault we will be judged. As a matter of fact, we're being judged now. That's why y'all seeing so much stuff happen. The church is being judged right now. We're doing too much. I, I'm telling you, I can't tell who's real, a woman of God or not without, I have wisdom and discernment. I'm talking about the way some people look on Facebook. All that flesh. Really? Really? And you can sound good all day long. I'm listening for a sound. And if you don't have the sound like you've been with God for real, then you are fraudulent, said the Lord. You are not his. Many will say in that hour, that judgment hour, Lord, Lord, did I not prophesy in your name? Did I not hear in your name? Did I not speak in your name? And he'll say, what? Get away from me. I never knew you, said the Lord. So I pray that you understand what time it is. We got to get back. We got to get back. We got to get back, y'all. This is not a game. Oh, well, they did a good one. Even with this fake operation, COVID-19, I said it just like I said it. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. That was man-made. Just like, and I'm going to go here. So, y'all know what happened, right? A lot of people, like, when the stimulus came, it seemed like COVID kind of went away, right? They tell the truth. Everybody started making TikToks and jokes about, where did COVID go? And they got mad. That's what happened. They got mad at them jokes. And all of a sudden, whew, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm not stupid. I'm sorry. And some people say, oh, because y'all so brainwashed. Y'all don't believe nothing anyway. I'm going with God all the way. I don't care. Now, you you mean to tell me something going to die down all of a sudden? Just go ahead. I truly believe it's coming in the air system. Now, how they, how they doing it? However. Stay prayed up, like I've been telling people. Take bleach baths; it kills everything. I've I've had friends do it. I do it. Two caps full, maybe three, just caps. I didn't say drink nothing. I didn't say do all that. There is a way that God tells you to disperse the enemy every time. The enemy always try to come in. God will tell you how to overtake the enemy. God will tell you the secrets of the enemy. God will tell you. Come on, somebody. Y'all just got to trust him. Trust him in this hour. God is still God. You know who God is. Have you read that Bible? He's the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and end. His breath can kill you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't let the enemy scare y'all. That's what he's doing. Fear tactics. He's been doing it through television. Through the media, the news. I want y'all to understand what media means. Media means medium, which is the spirit. Remember, he's the prince of the air. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So y'all got to understand what's going on here. That's why God says, guard your eye gate, your ear gate. Watch what you hear. Watch what you see. Because the enemy is trying to subdue you. And how does he subdue you? Through this. But hold on. James chapter 1 says, but you're drawn away with your own lust. You got to be real. What's inside of you for real? You know how that commercial said, what's in your wallet? What's in your spirit? Don't lie. Don't lie. You ain't got to lie to me. That's between you and God. And if something is in your spirit that's not of God, then that's when you need to be real with yourself. God deliver me. God heal me. God set me free. But then just like he said to the man at the pool, do you want to be healed? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because some people don't want to be healed. Because that's your crutch. That's your game. Yeah. 
I say it like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord have mercy, y'all, y'all, y'all. If y'all could see what I see. And some of you do. Some of you do. These people are, oh, they the devil. You have a real enemy. Hallelujah. So, I said what God said to say. Let's start witnessing more. As a matter of fact, I'm going to start doing something myself. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. I hear you, God. Thank you, Jesus. And I repent for not doing it, Lord, before. And I'll, st I'll do it now. Yes, Lord. In every video. Thank you, Jesus. I repent, Lord. Maybe it'll start off with me. I repent. So if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I like to lead you in the sinner's repentance. And hold on, that could be saved. That could be in the church. You can be in the church or whatever. Going to church don't make you saved. Everybody in the church ain't saved and everybody in the street ain't lost. Understand that. So all you have to do where you at. Dear Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I repent of my sins. Please create in me a clean heart, God. I believe that Jesus Christ came in the flesh and died and sits on your right hand. Father God, be the Lord of my life. I'm tired. I'm tired. I can't do this on my own. So, Father God, I just ask you to come into my heart. We rebuke the devourer. We rebuke the spirit of Satan, the spirit of devil, and all his mind-binding demons so that I can listen to you, God. I can hear you say, come home, my child. I repent of all my ways. So, Father God, I just thank you right now. That is done that is done father god come into my life but hold on see because i i this is i'm gonna twist it up father god not only save me but fill me with the holy ghost there it is right there you can't stay safe without the holy ghost y'all y'all keep trying to do that hallelujah father god just don't save me and be the lord of my life but fill me with the holy ghost god touch me just one touch from you god and i'll be healed i'll be delivered and keep me saved, God, throughout my life in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. I decree and declare it to be so right now. If you said that prayer, then this is the beginning of your transformation. And God can touch you, and God can heal you, and God can deliver you, and change everything that's in your life. You are not a failure, says the Lord. It is not over, says the Lord. I don't care who don't like you. I don't care who don't help you. I don't care if your family don't fool with you. I just said something. Because family, a trip. I don't know who this is for, but somebody put it on my spirit. Stop depending on your family. A young man told me something in Augusta one day. We was all talking. He said, you know, Apostle, this is what I believe. He says, I believe that whoever God sent and loves you and accepts you, your flaws, everything, that's your family. Yeah, and I mean, it's something simple, but it's powerful. I said, you're right, young man. God have sent strangers to love me. God have sent. So whoever you are, stop depending on family, friends. And I, I got to say this because I feel God pulling and saying this too. You got to forgive people. Not just for them, but for yourself. I know people do some ugly stuff, bad stuff, and act like they ain't did nothing. You got to just remember who you are. Unforgiveness stops everything. Because it starts, it, it, it actually, demons work together. So unforgiveness is a byproduct of strife. That's why you stay mad. That's why when you see them, you start acting crazy, start saying stuff. And, and we love to do this. When we have been, let's say, molested or anything, we love to blame people all through the adult life. And I got to say this, because I feel this is in the spirit for some of you. You can't keep holding people accountable. Because here's the deal. You're not God. God says, vengeance is mine. Some of you have things that have happened to you, and you keep on, well, if they didn't do this. Or even in your adult life, if they wouldn't have fired me, or if they wouldn't have, you got to stop doing that. That's a crutch. That's a crutch. People of God, please hear me. You got to let things go. Let people go for yourself. That stuff will literally, let me tell you something, it's one of the tools of Satan. He will, it will literally cause depression, oppression, suppression, and suicide. Drinking, alcohol, um, addictions, even of sex. I'm just being real with you. Well, if they wouldn't have did this, I wouldn't have been like this. The devil is a lie. Stop that. Stop that. 
and I rebuke all that stuff I just named because I don't like putting, just putting stuff in the atmosphere. But I'm telling you right now, I decree and declare that you are healed, that you are delivered of anything. Come on, somebody. If God can do it for me, I know he can do it for you. I'm an ex-drug addict, ex Attic, attic. I, I did everything. I ain't gonna lie. One time I tried to smoke um oregano. I thought I said it looked like we must be we. I'm just saying. I don't mind telling y'all what I I I did some crazy stuff. I, I'm not even supposed to be here, but I know God is real. And another thing, I don't know somebody pulling on me, so I gotta speak it. I'm getting off here. I don't care if you apologize to the person and they don't receive it. You keep on going. Could let people hold you hostage and bondage. Once you say I'm sorry and they didn't want to fool with you, God bless you. I love you from a distance. Quit letting people hold you in bondage. I keep hearing that. I don't know who this for. Stop that. When God has set you free, let the redeemed say so, said the Lord. Okay? So God bless you. God keep you. I know I noticed I noticed I was hit. I know I had some key points, a lot of stuff. So if I was y'all, I'd go back and listen to this video because when the Holy Ghost gone, it'd be just say, I gotta stick and move. So God bless you. God keep y'all. I love y'all through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. None of us are perfect. I get it. But guess what? We gotta get this thing. We gotta get it together. This is not a game. Stop hating your brother and sister. Stop being jealous. Oh, that spirit's a trip. Stop being jealous. What God got for you, nobody can get, and vice versa. Learn to respect each other and love each other, said the Lord. That's your portion. Stop being so ugly and mean and, and looking mean. For church folks, y'all look mean and act mean. and Stop that. You're supposed to have the joy of the Lord. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what the devil doing. Ask God, God, give me the joy. Give me the joy. So this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I love you all through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Roll with our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless.